The age-old debate of whether to buy or rent a house has persisted for centuries. Despite prevailing expert opinions favoring home ownership, I'm here to challenge that notion. We are all familiar with the advantages and disadvantages of buying a home right. On the one hand, owning a home means possessing an appreciating asset, free from the whims of landlords increasing rent annually. Your investment in a home feels secure, unlike rent payments seemingly vanishing into thin air. It sounds enticing and much of it holds true, but why choose renting over ownership? Renters argue that while the lack of ownership, they pay less than they do in mortgage and enjoy the flexibility to move when their lease expires. Also, the overall cost is lower because you don't pay taxes and maintenance in most instances. Like many, I once believed in the importance of owning a home. However, I've come to realize that there are circumstances where buying a home isn't the wisest choice, particularly in the short term. Reflecting on my own experience, I saved up diligently to purchase my first home. Had I known then what I know now, I'd redirect that money towards investing in my first business as opposed to my first home a decision I now recognize as being more financially savvy. It's crucial to understand that a home isn't necessarily the best investment, especially when you compare it to the opportunity cost of investing in the market. Investing in the stock market or even a business can yield far greater returns. The opportunity cost of tying up funds in a house versus a profitable business becomes apparent. While housing markets fluctuate, a successful business generates ongoing cash flow, enabling further investments and wealth accumulation. Profits from a thriving business can fund future home purchases, potentially a bigger and better home than the one you could have imagined in the beginning. In addition, banks favor lending to growing profitable businesses, which also expands your housing options. Because of this, I stand on my assertion that Investing rather than buying a home can yield superior long-term financial outcomes. Some may counter by citing flipping houses as a lucrative strategy, but my argument focuses on those purchasing a home as their primary residence. Additionally, prevailing mortgage rates near eight to 10%, making borrowing less appealing compared to investment opportunities. I'm not suggesting home ownership lacks merit. It's a wonderful prospect, especially for families seeking stability in desirable neighborhoods. However, for ambitious young professionals aiming to escape that rat race, investing in ventures offering higher returns may be more prudent. I fell into the trap of equating home ownership with the American dream, failing to grasp the significance of generating passive income when I purchased my first home. Ultimately, prioritizing cash flow over home ownership leads to greater financial security. So while buying a home isn't always the superior choice, investing wisely can create a sustainable cycle of wealth accumulation. So when it comes to renting or buying, it really depends on many factors, such as where you are in your career, the goals you set for yourself, and most importantly, your future outlook and aspirations. There are pros and cons for both renting and buying. Renting offers more flexibility, allowing you to easily relocate for career opportunities or personal reasons. There's low maintenance costs. Landlords are typically responsible for most maintenance and repairs relieving you of that financial burden. Limited market risk. Renters are not exposed to fluctuations in the housing market as much as homeowners are, providing a sense of stability in housing costs. And most importantly, renting typically requires less upfront costs than buying a home, which is beneficial when it comes to investing and creating cash flow.